What's up, guys? How's it going? Um, fucking hell. I know that um, back in the day, the term deep state was always re reserved for those wacky conspiracy theorists like fucking Alex Jones and the like. But um, I like to think that the last four years has basically proven beyond any reasonable doubt that the fucking there is such a thing as the deep state in that you've got blatantly partisan um, Obama era appointees working for the working for the branches of government and in the some of the highest echelons of the government organizations um just outrageously taking the fucking piss in some desperate desire to unseat trump and again up until fucking six months ago i would never have even dreamed of voting for the guy but when you've got corruption on such a colossal scale you've got to help out and tip the scales back in the favour of logic and fucking reason. It just staggers me what's gone on. You know, when you've got the likes of M Mueller and fucking Comey just outrageously taking the piss when justice is supposed to be fucking blind. Uh, I think it's absolutely disgraceful and somebody needs to go through the fucking White House like a dose of salts and just pull them all out. Every single one of them. You take an oath when you fucking join the, the, the government. You take an oath that you're going to be impartial uh, and serve the president whoever that is and these people are just not willing to do it because of trump derangement syndrome on a fucking colossal scale so trump was mega pissed off today and i, and I think he fucking has a right to be uh, anyway let's have a listen roger stone yeah. isn't your tweet political interference no not at all he was treated very badly nine years recommended if you look at what happened i want to thank the justice department for seeing this this horrible thing. And I didn't speak to him, by the way, just so you understand. They saw the horribleness of a nine-year sentence for doing nothing. You have murderers and drug addicts, they don't get nine years. Nine years for doing something that nobody even can define what he did. Somebody said he put out a tweet, and the tweet, you based it on that. We have killers, we have murderers all over the place, nothing happens. And then they put a man in jail and destroy his life, his family, his wife. His children, nine years in jail, it's a disgrace. In the meantime, Comey walks around making book deals, the people that launched the scam investigation, and what they did is a disgrace. You can't fucking argue with that, can you? You just can't. So we find... Fuck off, Alexander. Fucking wonky-faced cunt. Look at the fucking state of that soy boy. It's like a fucking mutant. It reminds me of that fucking wonky-faced bloke out of weird science. <laughs> Uh, yeah, anyway, you, you can't really argue with that at all. You know, when you look at the typical sentencing for similar crimes, it's, it's nowhere near. You just have to apply common sense to this type of thing. Like, what do you normally get for that type of thing? If anyone doesn't know, I'll cover the story. Um, basically, Roger Stone was treated in a way that ordinary people wouldn't be, who weren't linked to the president. And, and again, that's an obvious fact. If you're just a random Joe and you're suspected of witness intimidation or witness tampering in some in some respect, they don't come down on you like a ton of fucking bricks, a ton of fucking burning bricks covered in dog shit. They, they basically did a dawn raid on the guy. You remember that? Like a fucking full-on riot gear pre-dawn raid. And worst of all, the media had been informed about it and they were all waiting to watch the fucking thing. And again... I've got no time for Roger Stone. I do think he's a bit of a dickhead, but just try and be impartial and think, if this was a guy who was simply accused of sending a, a somewhat threatening email, and, and me being me, I don't even think, I think the email was fuck all. If someone sends me an email calling me a fucking arsehole, then I send them one back saying, fucking suck my stump, you fucking cocksucker motherfucker. That's what you do, but anyway, that's by the by. 29 fucking people raided the guy's house in pre-dawn with his wife there. In fucking, in a massive with loads of hardware. Like they thought some grey-haired old fucking guy's gonna what? Pull out a fucking machine gun and pull a Scarface on him. Uh, the whole thing is ridiculous. It, the Washington Examiner talked about it at the time. Um, and, and, they talk, and they were saying how like the whole thing was excessive and un unnecessary. But it was the same with Manafort. Like... You're getting levels of force, aggression, and sentencing from these mechanisms of the state that have clearly and obviously been politicised. 
you don't need to go in at fucking 30 blokes with riot shields and batons on some fucking old bloke who you're, who you're uh, investigating for sending a mildly threatening email to someone. And if you just Google, like, witness intimidation, uh, Florida man's a good one. I Googled Florida man witness intimidation. You know you'll get a hit. You know, there's one, a guy sent a uh, time served, 45 days and three years of supervised release for fucking instructing a minor to destroy all electronic records of conversations that had occurred between them. So th that's what you get for witness tampering. Or provenance man sentenced for unlawful sale of firearms, witness intimidation. He was selling fucking massive numbers of fucking firearms illegally. Uh, ARs, AR-47s, handguns, <laughs> a fucking grenade launcher, th threatening messages on social media to a person who assisted the FBI. 24 months in prison is another one. Sun Valley man, five years in prison for fucking... His was even worse. He actually sprayed a woman in the face with bear mace <laughs> and called her from, uh, from several jail cells to uh, prevent her from testifying. Five years. And then this fucking poor bastard gets nine. Nine fucking years. Because he called Randy Credigo, a New York State political candidate, a fucking rat and a stoolie in a threatening email. That's it. That's what he's been charged with. They say deliberately lied to prosecutors and he, did a, and he did a moderately threatening email to someone. Nine fucking years. As the president said, you, you, do, you, you really do get rapists who don't get nine years. Drag a woman into an alley, donkey one into her against her will. You don't get nine years in jail. Be a bit of a prick when you're getting clearly investigated for partisan reasons by a corrupt FBI and CIA and deep state that's working on behalf of the Democrats. And uh, you get fucking nine years for it. Like, it, it doesn't make any sense. And again, I've got no axe to grind. I don't particularly like Roger Stone. I don't particularly like Donald Trump. But the fucking mechanisms of the state are not supposed to be politicised. The Founding Fathers set this country up in that way on purpose so one group or one individual could never have too much power. You've got to have checks and balances all the time. And we've got an obviously partisan, if you don't even like the word deep state, use another fucking word, but you've got obviously partisan heads of big organisations at the very top level of the government, people like James fucking Comey, who are obviously not being impartial at all. And the FBI and the CIA and the police departments and the military and anybody else, all of these things are not supposed to be there to operate at the whims of whoever the fuck happens to be in charge that week. And I would be saying the exact same if we had 10 years of fucking Republican leadership and they were going after fucking Bernie Sanders' fucking mates. It's blatantly obvious to anyone who's even remotely impartial that we've got a politicised government. We've got government entities and very high-ranking government officials, taxpayer fucking employees getting paid for by you and me. And they are playing fucking politics. Absolute shenanigans when they have a duty to us and they have a duty to the people of the United States of America to try and remain as impartial as they can. It's not the fucking end of the world if you're a little bit, if you're a little bit partisan, because everybody is. Again, it's not the end of the world. You can be a, rep a hardcore Republican and work in the upper echelons of the FBI. You can be a hardcore Democrat and be in the upper echelons of the FBI, but you can't do fucking mad shit like Comey and Peter Strzok sending text messages saying, oh, we'll stop President Trump. The guy won the fucking election. Suck it up, you fucking losers, and get a grip. Fucking hell. I mean, the Republicans were pissed off when Obama was in charge for, for eight years, but all I saw was a little bit of racism and a little bit of, like, stupid conspiracy theories. I didn't see fucking dawn raids by partisan government agents. It's unbelievable. It's like Gestapo shit and it needs to fucking stop. And uh, yeah, that's the rant of the day. Fucking ridiculous. Peter Strzok, he definitely wants banging up that cunt. I will briefly put them up because they, they are fucking mental. 
and it stuns me that that guy's not in the clink. Uh, Peace in the Hill says, um, Lisa Page and Peter Strott, the FBI love birds. Are the poster children for the next don't text and investigate public service ads. <laughs> the extraordinary texting I found their government phones was given has given the FBI a black eye, rightly so, laying bare raw political bias brought into the workplace that agents are supposed to check at the door when they strap on their guns and badges. That's my point. You can be an FBI agent that loves fucking Obama. You can be an FBI agent that loves Trump. But what you can't do is take taxpayer fun, taxpayers' money strap on your gun and your band and then go and be a fucking cunt to people just because you don't like their politics. Um, they released all the texts, 375 of them. <laughs> and they said, uh, and his, and his is the last one he was having an affair with, said she was crushed, the Trump one. And then she, um, they said they had an insurance policy just in case Hillary lost. Unfucking real Just some of them. March 4th, God, Hillary should win. I know. God, Trump is a lawless human, yet he may win. Good for Hillary. Om, um, he's an idiot. He's awful. The best one was um, all in August 2016, after Page asked Strzok, Trump's not ever going to become president, right? Strzok responded, no, no, he won't. We'll stop it. We'll stop it. Two dipshits who work for the fucking FBI. No, no, he won't. We'll stop it. Well, um... What if he wins a democratic election? You fucking cunt. Not only should he get banged up, they should fucking burn his US passport, strip him of his citizenship, and send him to somewhere where they don't do fucking elections. Because that's the way we roll in America, motherfucker. They should deport him to fucking Nabuti or Venezuela. Somewhere where a, a, a vote isn't worth a wank, because clearly that shithead doesn't have any respect for the fucking idea of democracy. It really does stun me that this fucking knobhead. How, how is he not being fucking charged with anything? Anyway, yeah, that's the rant of the day. Stone's getting fucked over. Two years tops would be about an acceptable sentence for that. And and that's, that's harsh. A harsh email and a bit of bullshitting. Really? And there's people who do the similar and get fucking three months or time served when they've been in, in the county jail for two months. It's not fucking on. Have some self-respect and do the right thing, you fucking knobhead. Cheers.